Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your daily guidance reading. This reading is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 7th, 2023. Let's take a look and see what important, wonderful messages are coming through for the Pisces Collective at this time. What does Pisces need to know, please? Thank you. Ooh, Pisces. I am liking where this is going. All right. Okay, so today's energy, your main dominant message is, yeah, that's right, the beautiful lovers, divine union. So this can simply really mean that this is a card about alignment, about openness, about choices, duality, love, relationships, deep connection, harmony, and romance. But this can be you coming together with another person. This can be you and another person taking your relationship to the next level. This can be really feeling uh, connected with another individual. But overall, the lovers really takes a deep dive into how you see and choose and make decisions when it comes to love. How do you choose to love is the question that this card asks. Do you love with an open mind or a closed mind? Are you making decisions in relationships and in romantic pursuits based off of past experiences or current experiences? How are you looking? What is your duality with love? How are you perceiving? How do you see it? How do you envision it? And that's kind of the message of the lover's card. So this may be for my single Pringles out there, you guys may be looking at that today, kind of feeling out your own energy, how your views uh, align with you, your decisions. You may be reviewing past situations at this time to kind of really get a sense of how you are presenting yourself in a relationship in the past and how you would like to proceed with the future. This could be also you looking at what you envision in your uh, in your future partner. For a lot of you, this is reconnection or connecting in with your person and a whole, whole, deep, whole deeper uh, and more serious level here. So the energy of the hangman is here. So some of you may feel like this hasn't really been moving. Uh, this has been kind of on hold, but this is a card about new perspectives, like getting a new perspective, seeing things from, seeing things from a different angle. This card is kind of having an epiphany, awakening. This can be releasing and letting go so that you can move forward. So there's something that was stagnated um, here. And today you're going to kind of, that, that energy is going to kind of, kind of pop up. You're going to be able to see things in a new light. So a lot of you, if this has been a, you know, a deep connection that you've kind of wrote, ran into a roadblock, right? and it's kind of stagnated, or there's an issue or a problem, you're going to kind of see the solution uh, to that problem today. You're going to have that aha moment. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a, a day of, of a balancing act. Uh, this is, you know, kind of making a choice, adaptability, prioritizing, juggling, back and forth, quick decisions. Uh, some of you, this have to, may have to do with your finances. You may have to move things around a little bit make some changes today. Um, but for a lot of you, I feel like you're going to be kind of maybe looking at which approach is going to be best. This may be you weighing pros and cons today of a situation, whether this is job, relationship, love, depending on you and your, and your situation is going to depend on how that falls on you. But this is kind of be wanting to put your best foot forward. So there could be a little bit of hesitation for a moment about taking that next step that's needed because you're going to want to make sure that whatever step you take is the right one for you. Uh, what I love about this is you're coming into the four of coins energy, uh, material attachment. Uh, so uh, when this comes through, this can have you take a look and have you kind of look at what is really important to you. Where are you growing? Where are you holding back out of fear? Uh, where are you kind of maybe being stingy or very much in like a, a lack mindset? So this can be, you know, really needing to release the fears to let energy flow 
Uh, this could have been what was holding you up. There could also be, for some of you, a conversation that needs to take place about finances. All right, guys, that is your message coming through. I'm going to pull a spirit guide message, and then I'm going to pull a romance angel just to see, you know, where you guys are landing in those areas today. All right, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what do we have for my beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For February 7th, 2023, what does Pisces need to know for the highest vibration and highest good, please? Best message, advice, and guidance for my beautiful Pisces. What do we have? Several messages wanted to pop there. There we go. Yep. Beautiful. All right. So we have the hard receive coming through. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. So there is going to be a moment where you need to be open and receptive to energies and to persons that may be coming in for you today. Be open to new ideas, be open to new possibilities. Have some flexibility. Be Instead of maybe being the one who Pisces does things for everybody else, maybe it be maybe today is the day where you allow someone else to do something for you or you take the time to do it for you. So less attention on everybody else, more attention on you today, but be in an open-minded space to allow energy to really flow today. All right, and let's take a look at the romance angels spirit guides angels and ancestors what do we have for my beautiful pisces sun moon rising and venus in the area of love romance and relationships for february 7th 2023 what does pisces need to know for the highest vibration and highest good what do we have for pisces please Thank you. All right, so three messages seem to have come through. Ah, yep, I love it. All right, so we have retreat coming in. It's time to disconnect from the world. I love this card because it comes with a very simple message. To my Pisces out there who are single, uh, this is about disconnecting from, you know, people, places, things, jobs, worry, stress, the you know, the normal everyday day life, the day-to-day -day living, taking a break, taking a moment out, taking a rest so that you have time to really reflect on you and what you want moving forward. This is about reconnecting to self and order to really rise your vibration and bring in love that you want or to improve a relationship uh, with another person if you are kind of connected in with someone. For those of you that are in connection or in separation, this can very well be this kind of same energy. This is about disconnecting from the distractions of the world, reconnecting with self. For those of you that are coupled, this is about reconnecting with each other. This is a need for a break, a time out, just to do something together. Uh, this could be watching a movie. This could be taking a walk. This could be getting away for the weekend, but there is a dis there is a disconnection from the world, friends, family that is needed to reconnect. All right. Uh, those of you that are in separation from your person, this may indicate it that, you know, it's still time for you both to kind of be disconnected, to not to try to force this together. All right. So we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your inner selves, your connection deepens with each other. So this is really kind of simple. This is about not rushing things. This is about having simple conversations, really diving deep. If you are just getting into a relationship with somebody, slow down, take your time and really connect with this person. Allow that person to know who you are, get to know them. Don't worry about the past or the future. That'll all come out in the wash. Legitimately, this is about staying present in the moment. If you are already in a connection with somebody, this is about you guys taking the time, that, that, that time out, that retreat, that walk, that, that movie, that moment to reconnect. 
this is also about really kind of diving deep have a you know a deep meaningful conversation get to know each other on a new level people are always ebbing and flowing and involve evolving so there's maybe things that your partner or you have on your mind that has changed stories or ideas that you have not shared with each other in a while so it's maybe time to actually do that for those of you that have somebody coming in don't rush it <laughs> basically that's the message here don't rush it allow yourself to be uh present you know when we talk about being present in the moment that is always a little can be hard to do because anxiety makes us worry about the future and uh regret makes us worry about the past and fear also has us kind of being lost in the past so really you know trying to stay present can be difficult but um it is well worth it because the past is already gone you can't change it you can't go back you can't rewrite history it you know it's like it's it's done kind of consider it in the history books and close that book because you can't do anything with that information what you can do is stay present in the moment be open to experiences and allow things to really connect here and as far as the future it hasn't arrived there's a lot of things that could happen between now and then and just worrying about it is going to cause anxiety so stay present be open and allow things to flow if you guys are really wanting great love these are the steps that you need to take make the effort to heal to adapt to get a new perspective to release fear uh, and really come up with a, a plan and a decision and then act on it. All right, guys, that is your message for February 7th. I hope this gave you some insight into your situation. Thank you for tuning in. Namaste. Bye for now.